Hi everyone, this is not really cosplay related content, but it is related to like monetization and particularly if you're dealing with meta or anything that they run. So right here, I have the Facebook app, I have the business um, pages app on my phone. None of those will show me this information. So I have to go onto Chrome and forcibly open this page because it'll try to make you go to the app, which you won't be able to see this. So here I am now. Right here, I don't have any monetization violations, and it says I'm following um, the partner monetization policies. Great. So let's see. Oh, hmm, what's this? I only have one thing that I'm eligible for, and when you look into that, I have policy issues. Oh, I wonder what policy that is. Let's go look. Oh, the same partner monetization policies that it says I have no violations for and I'm following, I'm apparently not. But if I want to, you know, maybe talk to someone about that and figure out, I can't. Because you can only talk to someone. You can only access support when you have an active violation. And so in this case, half of Meta thinks I do, half of Meta thinks I don't. There's no way for me to contact anyone. Anytime you click any of the contact bubbles on any of their apps, it really doesn't give you the choice to actually speak to someone. And so in this case... Theoretically, the only way I would actually be able to talk to someone who would actually fix this is if I actually do a violation big enough for them to post a monetization violation for me to appeal it and then probably ask them to actually overlook my whole page and tell me what the original issue was. The hardest thing about this is too is that, you know, my page is suffering, my monetization is suffering, but there's nothing, there's literally nothing I can do at all. That's how the user design, that is how the user experience of the monetized side of Facebook for creators is. It is horrible. It is one of the just worst, whatever you wanna call it, back end user experience design that I've ever witnessed. When dealing with money and when dealing with policies of what is allowed, it needs to be really clear and concise. And I do feel like Facebook is somewhat concise about what is allowed and what isn't. But as far as communicating to you, which part of the policy you didn't follow and also considering you know people are posting hundreds of thousands of pieces of content you know of a full entire full length videos if one frame of the video or a couple seconds is violating something we need to be specific and tell them hey this exact piece of content at this exact moment this picture out of the 10 pictures you posted in one post that is the photo that is the issue okay tell me what the issue is and then after that Tell me what I can do. If I just need to delete that photo, that's different than saying like, hey, no, you can never monetize again because of what you posted. Those are two different things. There's no definitive way for me to know what I did wrong. I cannot speak to anyone to figure out if it'll ever change. There's nothing, there's no access to any of that. Being monetized on Facebook and Meta is literally like, it's not something to rely on. It's not something that even really fully makes sense. Month to month, I see completely different payouts for the exact same amount of engagement, for the exact same style of content from my page. And I only post original content of myself. I see my page growing. I see people interacting with my page more, people having a better time, enjoying what I post more and more. And as that happens, Facebook is somehow saying like, you know, it's giving me these accolades like, oh, wow, you had so many people engaged with your posts, like people were sharing it, like they loved it. And then at the same time, my payouts have increased, decreased literally by 98%. It, this is, I, I'm honestly at this point, I'm convinced that they want it to be like this. Because why do you have two different applications? Technically three, if you're viewing it on desktop and none of them are centralized with the information that I can see. I don't understand how that would make sense, right? I shouldn't be able to see different information about my page just because I'm on my computer. It's 2023. Like phones are, they're pretty strong. They can show the same content. Phones can play entire full length video games. Like whatever I need to see, I should be able to see it in the app. It should be very concise. Uh, I should be able to contact someone when I'm having an issue, whether or not Facebook is able on their end to identify my issue, I should still be able to contact a person. You know, I don't even have the option to chat with a robot, really. It's just sort of like, oops, you're demonetized, but kind of not. Bye. So...
that's that's pretty much it. That's I mean, sometimes the payouts can be great. Sometimes they'll be awesome. And then next month you'll be demonetized or all your content will be flagged and you don't really understand why or you have a, a copyright claim on something that doesn't have copyright material or a picture of your face that you took will be unoriginal content. That's that is the experience that they've given to me and they've given to a lot of other creators and I've had good experiences, but it's just sort of like, it shouldn't feel like I'm gambling at a casino. I'm creating content. People are engaging with it. I'm following all the policies. Facebook says I should be getting paid. Of course the pay varies. I don't expect to always be paid great, but if one plus one equals two, I'm expecting two. With like meta business speed, it's like one plus one equals two next, you know, last month. But then this month, one plus one equals zero. And it's just kind of like, okay, you know, you know, not something to rely on, but it, it's nice when it's there. Extremely frustrating if you have a problem. If you ever have any problem, good luck. Good luck. That's, that's all I can say about that. Don't get stressed out about it. Don't waste your time worrying about it. Nine times out of ten, you probably really didn't do anything to get it violated unless you're blatantly posting copyrighted material like gory material or stealing other people's content. If you're getting a bunch of violations, like honestly, it's just whatever system that they have in place to detect what, what content is appropriate is not good. I've been told like the one time I did have a legitimate violation, which was them saying that a picture of me in a costume I made that I took. Uh, was unoriginal content. I was able to speak to someone and they ended up telling me that their AI identified that. So flawed AI is what we're using to identify if someone's content should be monetized or not. That's pretty concerning. So yeah. But yeah, if you have any experience with this or anything of the similar, if you want to share that, that would be awesome. But that's all.